Hi, I'm Marcia Dietrich, Culinary Advisor with Highliner Food Service. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fish taco using our Pan Sear Selects Chili Lime Tilapia. Fish tacos are a culinary phenomenon. They started in Mexico and have gradually moved their way up the Baja Peninsula and it's so exciting to see fish tacos across Canadian menus. Today I'm going to make a simple fish taco using our cilantro sour cream and a tropical mango salsa. Now before I get started, I wanted to show you that many of our products lend themselves easily to making different kinds of fish tacos. For example, you could do a grilled fish taco like these haddock loins that I've simply grilled here. Or you could do a shrimp taco by simply sautéing some shrimp and spices. And if you wanted to offer a fish taco with a different texture altogether, you could use a battered fish which would give the taco a nice hearty texture. I like to make my fish tacos using our Pan Sear Selects Chili Lime Tilapia. This is a great product because you can cook it from frozen in under 10 minutes and it actually can be cooked in a variety of ways. You could pan sear this like I'll show you today, you could bake it in the oven or if you wanted a crispier coating you could deep fry it. So let's get started by pan searing this fish. Here I've got a hot non-stick pan and as you can see I won't be adding any oil. I'm just going to place my frozen tilapia fillets in. Ooh, listen to that sizzle! And I'm just going to let them sear for a few minutes on each side. Now I love this product because it's a five ounce consistent portion size and as you can see it's a whole natural fillet of tilapia. Now I can start smelling the aromas as you cook it. You'll start smelling things like smoked chili and lime and paprika. You're also getting some nice garlic and onion notes and actually whenever I think of those flavors I think back to a trip I took in Mexico when I was lucky enough to go on a deep sea fishing excursion. And sure enough, I was even luckier to catch a beautiful barracuda. There's that picture of me and that wonderful catch. And it was so nice because the fishing guides took us on a picnic to eat some of the fish that we had caught. It was beautiful and they marinated it with these same spices that we're cooking with right here. So my fish is ready and I'm going to put this on the plate and I'm going to assemble my fish taco. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? So my fish is now cooked and I'm ready to assemble the taco. So I'm going to take a soft flour tortilla here and I've chosen to use flour tortillas today. Traditionally fish tacos are made with corn tortillas but I love the moist tender bite of a flour tortilla. And I'm going to take a cilantro sour cream and basically it's a sour cream that's been spiked with fresh chopped cilantro, jalapeno and garlic. I'm going to cut into a piece here and as you can see once the fish is cooked it's really tender and easy to cut into. You don't even need a knife. I'm just going to drop that in there. And of course the mango salsa. I've made this using ripe mango, diced red pepper and scallion and I've seasoned it with some lime juice and fresh chopped cilantro. And this salsa is great to use on other grilled fish or um, sautéed fish as well. So there you have it fish taco using our pan sear select chili lime tilapia. Here are some other great salsas which you could do using simple fresh ingredients that you likely have in your restaurant such as this avocado and tomato salsa with minced onion and jalapeno. It's a beautiful creamy and decadent salsa. Or you could do this grilled pineapple salsa. Grilled pineapple is really on trend and it's a beautiful color with that purple onion. Or this roasted corn and tomato salsa. Very easy to make and it's a great way to celebrate a summer harvest menu or a local foods menu. For these recipes or more information, please contact your Highliner representative or visit our website at www.highlinerfoodservice.com. I'm Marcia Dietrich, Culinary Advisor. On behalf of Highliner Food Service, thank you for watching.